Photocycler Initial Assembly. First, use the Allen key to remove the screw and washer that are in the grinder crankshaft. Keep that together aside. Slide the washer over the shaft so it's seated against the retaining ring. And then slide the hex of the crank arm onto the hex of the shaft so it's nice and snug on there. Now, replace the screw and washer and tighten so it's nice and snug and the crank arm is held solidly. Ensure this turns both directions. Now we'll set up the spooler. Start by removing the spooler base from the side of your protocycler and put aside. Ensure you have all the spooler components before proceeding. Start with the motor bracket and make sure that the timing belt is looped through in the right direction and hold it as shown. Slide the spooler shaft through both the timing belt and the book bearing. Ensure that the timing belt is running in the right direction. Now, slide the spacer over the shaft so it seats against the bush bearing, and then insert the pin as shown into the shaft. Now, slide spool hub one onto the shaft so that it seats with the pin in the slot in the hub. Note that the other hub contains a nut, whereas this one has a slot for the pin to fall into. Now, you'll thread spool hub two onto the threads of the shaft. Thread it on far enough that there's a decent amount of the shaft sticking out the other end. And then put the support shaft on the other end. Loosen the thumb screws from the spooler base. Now, take the entire assembly and slide the slots onto the thumb screws. You may need to loosen up the thumb screws more so that it can slide in properly. Once it's fully seated properly, tighten up the thumb screws so they're nice and snug. Now, loop the timing belt over the pulleys. This may take some stretching and turning as it rides over the hub. Now it's fully assembled. You may take off the support bracket and remove hub number two in order to install a spool. Now it's removed. Put the spool over the shaft and hold it so it's resting against hub one while you tighten on hub number two. You'll need to hold it center while you really tighten it so that it's held in the middle of both hubs. Now, replace the support bracket. The shaft does have some give, so you should be able to bend it a little bit, but do not force it. Now, tighten both sets of thumb screws and make sure that the spooler is running smoothly and the spool is aligned. Grab the spring and stretch it and loop the loop over the stud as shown. This will need to be disassembled when you're not using your protocycler for extended periods of time. Your protocycler is now set up and ready for first operation.